talking about your your feelings and, and your perspective um, so that people can really understand that without um, without feeling I guess shame about um, their own personal experiences. Welcome to another video. This is kind of a driving with survivors episode, but not really because there's no survivors of species with today, us today. We've got a whole lot of food back in the back of the truck, and also I'm not driving. This lovely Kiwi is. I am driving <laughs> a big truck. So with the holidays rapidly approaching, I think we're all going to have to navigate new challenges. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the one key tip for how you can overcome those challenges. Here's some uh, sheep friends that we're just passing. It's absolutely lovely scenery here. So as we're approaching Christmas or whichever holiday you celebrate, um, I think there's particular pressures on us as well as um, additional reminders of us or about the animal use um, and, and all that comes with that all around us. Um, an example for myself that I can share is I was recently at a, a folk concert and really enjoying the music and getting into it and listening to the lyrics and all of a sudden they're talking about he cuts into the ham and I just started my mind flicked to all this footage I've edited around pigs being murdered in gas chambers and you know all that awful stuff that I think most of you watching are already familiar with and it's not that I'm not expecting these things but I think especially the holidays there's just new stuff I mean I saw a friend sent a link today about um, a, a live camel being involved in this procession, um, you know, presumably with a, a, a local community group. And it's just, and, and I know that reindeers are often used and transported around and forced to entertain and, and all these things that I think the challenging thing about navigating the species of world is when we're expecting stuff, it's one thing, but when stuff sneaks up on us, it can kind of catch us off guard. And I think that's also true with our social interactions because I think with family, there's a lot of pressure, especially, you know, maybe with um, COVID, you haven't seen them especially a long time, and there might be extra pressures to catch up and have everything go well, and, you know, don't want to ruin anything kind of thing. But I think by planning these things in advance, um, and having conversations with our family and, and what we're comfortable with and what we're not comfortable with, perhaps more importantly, and, and that's really, you know, when I talk about the one key tip at the beginning of this video, that's it asking ourselves what we're okay with and what we're not. And it may sound simple, but actually really honing in on that and asking ourselves that question, you know, are we okay with our fellow animals being eaten at the table with us and other forms of animal use? Um, and, and, and once we know that for ourselves, then we can communicate it to others. And I don't think we have a chance of doing that until we first have a conversation with ourselves. But once we do that, we can talk to others, set barriers, and, and also talk about how um, these experiences make us feel. And it's not just about having vegan options on the table, which I know probably a lot of us have already heard, but it's actually the, the, the violence and the reminders that um, the um, having body parts on the table really evokes. Hopefully all the food for the animals at Uplands Peak is still there. So I was just having a conversation with our lovely driver here, and um, let's all introduce Nisha. Now, what do you think, Nisha? Do you think it's, um, it's you're, you're just saying it's one thing to decide what we want, but actually communicating that to our loved ones is where it gets more challenging? Yeah, I was thinking around how do you communicate it, I think, is, is the key thing, because I think sometimes um, uh, communicating with loved ones around what what we want and what's okay for us isn't always easy. Choosing sometimes the right words, but importantly, I think choosing the right time. So, you know, often we know that on the day is not the best time to do it um, because, you know, sometimes there's a lot of prep and people's feelings get hurt, etc. So, yeah, my recommendation I think is, is having it, you know, a week or so, like now, <laughs> in advance of, of Christmas or any kind of um, family so that people have got some time to kind of consider it, to digest, um, 
only other thought is if people, sometimes you're not always confident or can't come up with the right words face to face, and sometimes jotting it on a message, whether that's an email or a text message, um, and talking about your your feelings and, and from your perspective, um, so that people can really understand that without um, without feeling, I guess, shame about um, their own personal experiences. So yeah, and I think that's the key with this is we're all different people, and every family situation is going to be unique. We all have a whole history of, with our families, obviously, that we have to navigate and different power dynamics and you know a younger one communicating with an older one can be particularly challenging because the flow of knowledge is supposed to go the other direction typically um so yeah let us know in the comments have you had these conversations with your family or, or is this the year where you're planning to do so and do you prefer to have that conversation in person where you can kind of read the person's body language better or maybe like this shows is saying you know writing a message or even doing a voice memo that you could always record and choose not choose whether or not you'd like to send because I do think a voice memo you can kind of um, express emotion a bit better than maybe a text message you can so let us know what your preferred medium is in the comments and what your approach is to this year's holiday season do you find the holidays particularly challenging and if so maybe um, you can help others out in the comments and, and, and say what works for you or Maybe if you're struggling with a particular situation, let us know that too, and, and, and so that we can, um, you know, base these things together. Because I think it's really important to remember that none of us is alone in these things, and, and reach out. And if there's a, a challenge you're not sure how to navigate, you know, you have a particularly challenging family member that always asks whatever question at the table, you know, maybe we can come up with some ideas together for how to overcome that. Thank you for all you're doing to build respect for our fellow animals and to evolve our animal advocacy, especially when it comes to our language. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. <laughs> For free resources, such as a discussion guide and language document, check out veganinteractions.com. Thanks for watching.